I texted uh, some of my staff and my family this morning saying, I don't want to work on Memorial Day. I want to be with my family, and most of us do. But it all centers around these kind of things with our flags in the cemeteries, doesn't it? And I think it's, if it hasn't been mentioned here, many of you may remember that the Memorial Day started right after the Civil War. It was Decoration Day to honor the Southern, I'm sorry, the Northern troops. And the South had kind of their own traditions, but eventually we came together un under this new holiday for our, for our nation. But we have to remember what a catastrophe the Civil War was for our nation. You know, for a long time we thought it was about 540 to maybe 560,000 men were killed in that war, and not wounded, killed. But we now know that it was closer to 720,000 people. Now think about this. This was out of a nation of 30 million people. It's 1 40th of the people who lived in our country died in that war. It would be the equivalent today if you took our current population of something almost 8 million people. Imagine in a four year period, 8 million Americans dying in a war. And let me put it to you this way it would be about the same as 150,000 people a month dying in war. This is a beautiful place, the cemetery here, for those of us who have had the honor of being in military cemeteries. And you see those rows after row after row of identical markers. Sometimes they're rounded tops, sometimes they're crosses. But that is sacred ground, and you know that you find those all over the world. You find them in France, you find them in Germany or in Britain, you find them in Tunisia. I was in Tunisia recently, at one of the most beautiful ones. Panama, the Philippines, here in the United States. And at the entrance to one of these military cemeteries in, in England, there's a poem. And it's very short, and it says, thinking of these thousands of young men, and in some cases young women, who are buried there. It says, here we lie because we chose not to live and shame that land from which we had come. Life, to be sure, is nothing much to give, but young men think it is, and we were all young. I wonder, you know, when we think of these soldiers, and we generally think of young men, but they're young women as well, and we thank them. I texted my kids today, fly a flag, go thank someone who served, regardless of how they served. Why were they willing to do that? You think they do it for the money? Of course not. You think they do it for the fame? Of course not. Do they do it because they can't get another job? That's nuts. It's just the opposite. I was a business owner. The veterans that I hired were the very best employees I had. Why do they do it? And I think the best answer is in a song that many of us know. I'll just quote two lines. O oh, beautiful for heroes proved in liberating strife, who more than self their country loved, and mercy more than life. On this day, let's thank those, let's thank God that there are men and women who love their country, who love good over evil, who love mercy and rightness over that that would take it away from us, more than they love even their own lives. God bless them. God bless our military and their families. God bless the United States of America. Thank you.